Is your problem? Oh, very rich, oh, not very rich. Let it to pay. What is your problem? What is your problem? A chupa, a jumbo attica. Your name is um, Dr. Paul, the founder and the CEO of uh, Care First Recovery Homes Uganda. Care First Recovery Homes Uganda. We've uh, been in existence since 2016. We rehabilitate people with the SUDs and mental, other mental health related problems. SUDs simply means substance use disorders like alcohol, cannabis, crystal meth, cocaine, both crack and the pure ones, etc. There are very many substances that uh, people abuse today. So we've been in existence since 2016 as an inpatient. We have uh, two facilities and one is located in Entebbe, one is in Kampala here around uh, Chigowa Road. So we've uh, rehabilitated very many uh, people. How have you found faith in which situation when you're explaining to Ugandans? Well, um, according to what I have seen, mm. She seemed to have been greatly and negatively affected by the drugs that she has been using. Though we shall do our medical examinations, the psychiatric assessments, okay. we shall also do the psychological assessment. When within the first 10 days, we shall be able to produce an accurate result that we shall be able to explain to people that she's undergoing this. We've seen her condition. I seem to have known her before. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it is not me or the team, but she will go back to her original state. They have tried to take her uh, for several uh, rehabilitation centers, but she normally escaped. So uh, how safe is she? I promise you, Uganda, the girl will, be, will, will come back into no more. Well... Addiction is something that one can never recover to 100%. You recover to near normal. And that is why we keep on giving them some uh, aftercare program after discharge. It will depend on the severity of the, <clears throat> of the substances that she, has, that she has been using. For example, the crystal meth. Uh, to determine whether she will be there for maybe 90 days or 180 days. But I guarantee that uh, she will be well. Like um, very many people, even the person that referred her to us, has passed through our hands and many, many artists and uh, many, many, many people in Uganda that has passed through our hands. Okay. So she will not be the first person that we are going to rehabilitate. And for escaping that one, I guarantee the family members she will never escape anywhere. Okay. We have people who have Kanyama that have tried to escape and they have the, the, it is not like some government hospitals that are very open. People can easily move in and move out and there is no access to drugs. Okay. So she will be fully detoxified as we move with her tonight. From tomorrow morning, we pick the blood sample and go for other medical examinations before we administer the appropriate detox detoxification uh, medication for her. After which, psychosocial uh, and psychological therapies will come to play. Okay, thank you. Your yes. last message to those who are drug addicts or those who are they drugs. should do. They should do, you know, overcome stigma. Let them talk to people. Recovery is possible, and many people have recovered, and they are still in recovery, you know. They should not just fear. Okay. They shouldn't fear. They mm -hmm. should speak up. There are many people. They are not alone. Mm -hmm. That's just my message. Okay. Thank you.